Hello everyone, welcome to Nutritious Fitness. I'm your host, Kurt Dirksen, certified personal trainer, here today to talk about some handy home equipment in these times where we're often stuck at home. Uh, bands in particular, various kinds of bands, along with some other equipment or heavy objects. So uh, before I get started, please hit subscribe below so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And like the video if you would like the video or comment below if you think something needs improvement. I'm always open to suggestions. So let's get on with the gear here and have a look. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go with the heavy bands. The lightest of which, if I can get these untangled, looks like so. Very handy for band pull-aparts, for band rear delts, curls, things like that. Demonstrate a curl. Stand it tall, fairly easy. Double the band over, put it under a foot. Those curls get a whole lot harder. So. These bands are generally useful, other than the light one, for more heavy work. These can substitute for a deadlift and things like that. I'll show an example here. I'll take my heaviest band over to the mat here. Stand on the band. Get into a good position. Good grip. And deadlift. Drive those hips forward and down drive them forward and down I keep in mind let me go a slightly lighter band here you can also get a broom handle mop handle something solid wood or steel not a little plastic mop handle and use it as a barbell with bands for resistance Grab that handle, stand on the band, and lo and behold, straight leg deadlifts. Or bend those knees and full deadlifts. So with that, the heavy bands are very useful for a multitude of things. They can be anchored to solid objects, a heavy bed post, something like that. And can be used for standing hip thrusts and another variety of movements. Give them a try. Get yourself a set. Check the link below. Next we have slightly lighter bands. Tubular bands with handles on the end. Just a single rather than a loop. In the case of this set, little carabiners on each end and come with handles to attach. One handle to each end. Varying weights. They label them in pounds in this set I've got, but bands don't quite work that way. It depends on how hard you stretch them, how far you stretch them, they're going to be that much harder as they get longer, as all bands are. So keep in mind, as an example, red band here. I have heavier bands in this set. Let's say the heaviest band just isn't heavy enough for the task I want. Click two bands together, three bands together. I suppose there's probably enough room in this little D-ring right here to hook every band in here. Not that I'd recommend that. Uh, do keep in mind, particularly with these bands, inspect them frequently, especially if you stand on them for things like curls and things like that, or you hook them around objects that could have a sharp edge. They start to get little cuts in them. They can snap, and if you're doing some kind of pulling movement in particular or pushing overhead and that band snaps, there's a good chance you're going to get whipped, literally. So. Keep a little eye on that maintenance all bands really but these in particular these are very handy for circuits i'm going to do a little circuit right here to kind of give you an idea of what you can do to work every body part stand on the band even tension on both sides bring it up squat overhead press legs shoulders legs shoulders legs Shoulders. Continuing the shoulder theme, just go right into lateral, front, raise, raise, lateral, 
front, lateral, front, shoulders are tired now, curls, curl away, get those biceps tired, tricep, overhead extension, extend, 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 get tired there, Get around a good anchor point. Row, row, row. Get tired there. Face pulse up on high. Hands past the ears. And back to the front of the body. Anchor to a solid object. Press, press, press. Fly, fly, fly. Just a quick example circuit. Legs and shoulders, more shoulders, biceps, triceps, back, traps, chest, in a couple of different ways. Great tool, it covers it all. Down to mini bands. Mini makes them sound rather weak. And, well, there you go. They're just little loops, some very thin, I'm a little heavier weight, but they're handy. You want to work your shoulders a little bit. Just extend your arms out in front of you, pull that band apart, much like you were doing with the heavy bands, but now lighter bands, you get to the heavier ones, you might just do an isometric contraction. You might only be able to stretch it so far and you just hold it. But more in particular, these are handy for leg movement, hip movement, glute movements. I'll show you. Putting it around the knee, Just below the knee in this case. Slight bend in the knees. Step out to one side. Control that trailing foot and back. Lateral band step. If you're in a long area, you can do a walk one direction and then the other. Back and forth. Works the glutes, hips. Want to make it a little more challenging? Get into a squat. And step. Stretch. Push those knees apart. Right way now. I'm really feeling the glutes, getting my quadriceps at the same time. Flipping the band down to the ankle, holding on to something, and glute kickbacks. Straight back. Focus on the glute. Focus on the glute. Straight back. Obviously, doing both sides, you can do forward and back walk. Keep knees pushed out, step, 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 and back, step, 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 step. Variety of movements there. You can get down on the floor and do hip abductions on your side, clamshells, opening and closing your knees while you lay on the floor on your side with that band. Very handy tool as well. Stability balls. Yes, probably seen them in the gym. Big inflated balls. Very handy for a variety of things. Got one right here. These are handy. Just as a computer chair if you want to work. A little stability. No back to lean on. Not even part of your workout. Just day-to-day -day use. Very common in the IT environment. A lot of people have gotten into these. Don't get the kind where you have a little base that supports it. You're still working your core, staying upright, but no. Let it move around a little bit. Be an active fidgeter. Do a little non-exercise, athletic thermogenesis throughout the day. Um, beyond that, they're just good for that instability while you sit and do some kind of overhead press movement with bands or dumbbells or heavy objects. A couple of gallons of water or milk. Make sure the lid's attached firmly. Um, they're also good for unstable push-ups. Bend straight here. Hands on the ball. Hip wants to move around. And then just slowly down and up. Down and up. Keeping in mind that ball wants to move around. I mean, there's a lot more going on than a push up on a firm floor. They're also good for hamstring curls. Lay 
it back. Feet on the ball. Hips up. Curl. More curl and hip drive. So good for core work. You can do crunches on a stability ball. You can do pikes. Let me demonstrate a pike. Hopefully I don't kill myself doing it. Feet on the ball. Up and down. Up and down. And you can see even in that down position, a nice unstable plank. Another great tool. All right, with all the bands covered, we'll just go over some heavy objects. Here is a 10 pound slam ball or medicine ball. It's been soft, hence the reason it's a slam ball. You throw it at the floor, it does not bounce back at you. It's handy for doing things like slow goblet squats or abdominal work such as Russian twists, moving that weight side to side as you lean back. Very nice to have, not a requirement. It can be replaced with backpack loaded with books, heavy objects, cans of soup. Comes in handy. Doesn't work as a slam ball. You throw a backpack at the ground, it's going to make a big mess, probably explode the seams. But <laughs> nevertheless, good for curls and other arm work. Something to throw on your back when you're doing a push-up, a pull-up, things like that. Um, if you can afford it, some dumbbells. These are just little four-pounders. Hey, it's better than nothing. Do some high repetitions if you've got the space in your home and the money in your pocket. Get a set of dumbbells from 5 to 25 pounds or get one of those power blocks that has settings to set the dumbbell weight. It's just one pair of dumbbells with a pin to decide how heavy those dumbbells should be. Bigger investment for those, like literally hundreds of dollars, I think. Um, beyond that, just as I've been showing you in the background here, doing my exercises on the video today, a mat of some kind, a yoga mat, something non-slip. I'm working on a wood floor here, so I wouldn't want to go with a mat that's really smooth and moves easily. Um, if you have a thicker mat that's a little slippery, get a yoga mat or some kind of area rug mat, those kind that have little rubber bumps on them to put underneath a mat like that, and that should make it non-slip. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, anything else from there, you can probably do with just your body weight. All right, just to touch on a couple of other things you can add, you can also add a suspension trainer, providing the links below in the description. Um, not a necessity by any means, but a handy tool for a variety of exercises that I won't cover here. They're relatively expensive, at least the TRX brand that I'm familiar with from my professional career. Uh, it's been used in a lot of gyms and the home version is $100, the professional version pushing $200. Actually, I think they're a little more than that, both at this time because they're so popular. Uh, and a pull-up bar, a doorway pull-up bar. Obviously handy for pull-ups. A lot of us can't even do a pull-up, but they're handy as an anchor overhead. You can use the bands anchored to the overhead pull-up bar for pull-downs and things like that. So that's another handy little tool to consider. Those two, along with everything else covered, supplied in the links below as examples, will complete your home workout. Enjoy. Fitness is nutritious, nutrition is fitness. Nutrition and fitness together are health. Going to the doctor is not health care, it is sick care. Prevent a trip to the doctor for medical issues by giving conscious time, thought, and attention to nutritious fitness. Take care of you so you can remain able and available to aid others in need, be that a friend, family member, or a complete stranger.